Hey everybody, thanks so much for tuning in to Good Morning Florida Keys today. I'm Jenna Stauffer, so happy you could be here with me today. We have another jam-packed show, so we're just going to get right into it. For all you dog lovers, you dog owners, past dog owners, I have the perfect book for you. It's called Things Your Dog Doesn't Want You to Know, and it kind of gives us a perspective of a dog's life from 11 canines, and joining me today is one of the co-authors, Hi Conrad. He's going to tell us all about this book and why you have to pick up your own copy. Hi, thank you so much oh, for being here with thank me you, today. Jenna. This book is hilarious. Okay, I just started reading it the other day, and I couldn't put it down. Well, that's what we like to hear. <laughs> no, we um, there are uh, 115 stories, mm -hmm. and um, uh, it began as a blog a year or so ago, and then. Uh, Shortly, right after we uh, started doing the blog, then a publisher picked it up, and um, we just uh, loved writing it. And there are 11 different dogs, and each one tells about 10 stories. And um, they uh, get into mischief. They tell you their secrets. And uh, every dog has a little arc, has a little storyline that kind of goes. But it's very uh, easy reading. Each story is... Uh, it takes about five minutes to read each each story, and we hope they're funny or heartfelt, and uh, we had great fun writing it. Well, your hope has came true because it is. It's such light, funny reading, and you know, I used to have a dachshund, so I love Gabby. You have a <laughs> long-haired dachshund, and you just hit these personalities perfectly. How did you and Jeff, the other co-author, do this? I mean, what? How did you? you know, get into a dog's head. <laughs> <laughs> well, we pretend that we're in a dog's head, but, you know, mm -hmm. obviously we have no idea what they're really thinking. But um, we wanted to get certain archetypes. We wanted to get the little Gabby sort of a teenager. She's just discovering boys. Every six months she kind of discovers boys a little bit. And then um, we have Orson, who's the fat dog, who only thinks about food. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Axelrod, who is... Um, the yellow lab and uh, Axelrod's only uh, concern is, uh, um, well, he doesn't have many concerns. He's kind of a dumb dog. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and we just had a lot of fun writing them and, and you sort of develop the personalities as you, as you write, as you go along. Mm -hmm. And now you have such an impressive resume. I haven't mentioned to our viewers, but along with being the co-author of this book, Hi is one of the writers, the original writers of the TV series Monk, along with being the executive producer of the last two seasons and the other series called White Collar. Mm -hmm. So you, you know, this is a big kind of change for you. I know you've done books in the past, mm -hmm. short stories, but this is your first kind of comedy book. This is, this, this is my first humor book, and I learned a lot about humor writing for Monk, of course, um, and I was co-executive producer when I get mm -hmm. that straight. It, the titles are very... It's like the caste system, complicated, right? <laughs> it's like the caste system in India. So, um, but um, yeah, it was a, it was a great uh, it was a great eight years that we spent on Monk, and uh, you know, actually the network had called me up. They had seen my books in bookstores and thought I would be a good guy to write a mystery, a light mystery show, and um, um, I was lucky enough to. Uh, meet the right people and get on a great show. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk more with you. We're going to take a break right now. When we get back, though, we're going to talk more with Hai about, you know, his path, what brings him here to Key West, and we're going to read a little insert, too, from things your dog doesn't want you to know. So stay with us, everyone. We're just getting started. And again, I'm joined by Hai Conrad. We'll both be back right after the break. 